Hi, my name is Pavel Spechalski. I've lost my glasses somewhere and today I will challenge some pretty famous persons in the FPV internet because in this video I will explain to you why idle up and eye remote are exactly the same. It doesn't matter which one you choose because the copter will not fly better in this or that one uh, approach to the exactly the same problem. Because the problem that both, both of those things are uh, trying to solve is the behavior of the eye term. Unfortunately, eye term in our modern flight controller inherited something from the multi -wee times when uh, because it's zeroing the eye term when the throttle is low by default. Why it's doing that? Because there are some cases when you don't want the eye term to be able to grow above zero. For example, when you're landing, when you're taking off or for you armed with motor stop, move your copter somewhere else and then you throttle up. It solves the problem that in some specific cases after arming and doing something uh, and then power, uh, throttling up, the copter would do a strange thing. But as long as the copter is airborne, you do not want your air term to be zeroed ever, because if this happens, then you go into a tumble and you have a problem, because uh, very likely you will just crash. This is why uh, some people are using uh, idle up and some people are using a remote and some people are saying that the idle up is better because it's better because someone said so and someone else is saying that of course the i remote is better because someone else said so. The, <sighs> this, I will tell you a secret. It's exactly the same. There is no difference because both of those methods are solving the same problem, exactly the same problem of item being zeroed on throttle low in a slightly different way. First, how the idle up does it? Simply by not allowing the throttle to go below the threshold below which the item is zeroed. Ergo, item is never zeroed. And you have the stabilization all the time, only when you land, you flip the switch and uh, um, item is allowed to be zeroed. Simple, simple. How the eye remote is solving exactly the same problem? In a slightly different way, because this time it's happening not on your radio, OpenTX or anything else, but inside of the flight controller software. When the eye remote is active and you arm, in the beginning item is zeroed. Because the throttle is low, you just aren't is item is able to be zeroed. When you move the throttle up at least once, the item is not allowed to be zeroed again. So Copter assumes that after you move the throttle up at least once, you are airborne, and even then, if you pull the throttle down, it will not zero the item. Why? Because it thinks that you want to keep stabilization, because you do want to keep stabilization on the time. The results? Exactly the same. Really, there is no difference in the output of the pit controller between idle up and air mode. If someone says, you, says to you that there is a difference, I can feel the difference, he is biased. Because it's exactly the same. There is one slight difference in case of the idle up, because with the idle up, you're also raising the mean throttle, because the, with the idle up the throttle is not really allowed to go to the lowest value, so the motors, even when you pull the throttle up, are spinning slightly, slightly faster. But you can have exactly the same behavior by modifying your mean throttle in the configurator and you, with a remote and you have exactly the same case. Exactly, exactly, exactly the same case. But some people will tell you that no, you should not use air mode when flying freestyle bando because after you hit something, it will go into some strange thing and tumble and you will crash. This is not air mode. This is not air mode. What is happening in case of, for example, freestyle bando flying in beta flight and you will hit something and your copter will start to rotate? The that spin of that, I think this is called your spin of that, detection comes active and it tries to stabilize you as your copter, your, your quad, by locking you out of the control. It just, for a fraction of a second or a second, does everything automatically. And this, not a remote, but flat spin, though your spin of that recovery takes over, but it's not a remote. If you with beta flight, you would like to fly Bando uh, freestyle and you don't want this uh, pilot lockdown to be happening, you should disable the setting. Uh, the setting in the description, I don't remember this right now, but you, in the CLI you just type one comment and then uh, uh, spin detection and recover is disabled and again, it's 
behaving exactly the same like in KISS, because it's the same! Okay, um, I think that's all about the challenging stuff. I did not show you any examples anywhere how one thing works comparing to the other, because it's the same, it's not allowing item to be zeroed, and with that happy thought, that's all for today, until the next one, bye bye!